the car, he's on the table. If he's not on the table, he's cooking the food. <laughs> that's all I do. I work all day long. He really does though. And I feel like that's all we do, especially like this month. Like Courtney were just saying how we feel we are so overwhelmed with things right now. And <laughs> it's we're just so busy. I, I feel so busy. Like I literally feel I should hire people like to do all exhausted. This for me. I'm gonna I hire know. people to do all this for me. I know. And um, the kids are actually. Right now I'm doing all the accounting. Yes. For our household. Yep. Putting together all of Shanna's numbers that she keeps throwing at me. Mm hmm. <laughs> so much fun. It's like the most exciting thing ever. Rhett's down here making his bed like an angel. Oh, what a nice little boy making his bed. We gotta get rid of this mattress. That was our old mattress on our bed. You're doing amazing down here. Is it coming off? I think you need to wash the sheets actually. You can probably get away with it one more day. We need to wash your sheets tomorrow since tomorrow's Saturday. We will wash the sheets. Yeah. You wanna lift it up? No, we can just wash it tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Number four just came home. Or should I say number five? Ooh. Hi. Mm. Is that where your coat goes? You guys, is this a problem at your oh, house? Uh, and her, oh. Her shoes down the carpet. L look. Let me just show, for reals, what? this is how my kids come from school. I would like to know if you guys do the same thing. When you get home from school, do you just throw your stuff on the ground, leave your coat there, your backpack, shoes? I know, you do have a birthday party. Comment down below, let me know if you guys do this to your moms. It's kind of annoying. Kesley's been saying my mom and dad's gone, but we can, we can, um, we can do like a thing and then clean it up and then clean it up. So I'm gonna go find something to do. I'm gonna get these out, okay? Okay, here's the batteries. Since we got batteries, I hope there's a screw in here. I think the batteries are like these moms. Or like the tiny ones. I have two different kinds of screws. That one and that skinny one. So I don't know which one will work. So I hope this one. Yeah, none of these will work. So. Huh. They won't work, but. I'm gonna go get a snack because I'm hungry. I don't know what to have. This is the very top of my pantry. I'm gonna try these. So I think I'm gonna clean my bedroom. It's a huge mess. Guess what, guys? I've just set my Christmas ornaments down and I don't know where I put them. I might put like one on that table and, or I could just put both of them down here. Mm. I've got them. Yeah. We're good. So, guys, I have to go. I'm sorry. But I'll see you guys after I done cleaning my room. Bye. Um, have fun at your party. Did you um, tell everybody where you're going? Uh-uh. Want to tell everybody where you're going tonight? I'm going to my friend's Hope's birthday. Well, that's going to be fun. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're going to watch a movie. And have treats. I bought Skittles, her favorite candy. Yeah, she opened up the brand new bag of Skittles and put them in here, which is funny, because I'm like, why don't you just take the whole bag? But ev ask every, they asked everyone to bring a treat, so she brought some Skittles. I am actually going to be looking for, we're doing a kind of a sub for Santa for a family. We're doing a couple families actually this year for sub for Santa, and so we're looking for some shoes for a size one, you said? Size one youth for an eight-year-old little boy. You think you like some Jordans? Ooh, those are cool. Red, blue. Oh, his favorite color's blue. blue. His favorite color's blue. Yep. These are Jordans. Those are cool. Jordan Jumpmans. Oh my gosh, we should get him some of those. We're doing a couple different families except for Santa this year. It's something that um, I feel I feel like is cool. Don't you think, Corey, that we can do that for a family and yeah. things? I don't know, we've, um, we've been so blessed doing YouTube and things and it's been, just so many blessings we've gotten through this that we want to give back a little bit. And so we found two families who need a Christmas. 
and so our family is providing their Christmas for them. What are you guys doing? Where's Red? Where's right here. Oh, what are you guys doing? Ooh. What are you guys doing? I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> Oh, Kesley. Guys, guess what Kesley's doing tomorrow? What am I doing tomorrow? The dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she is going to winter formal dance. And you guys will see she and her cute friend are going to get ready. They're going to get ready here, I think, right? And then I'll just drive you guys wherever you need to go. To whoever, whoever's house. I'm so excited. I'm excited for you guys. It'll be so fun. And then some bigger, even bigger news. Should we tell them about Monday? Her braces are coming off, you guys. So by the, yeah. time, by the time you guys see this, they'll already be off, but like I'm so the video will be posted two days later. Oh, three days by now. I, I know, three days. No more braces. A year and a half, 18 months, she had these bad boys on. Bibi, I get my braces off. <laughs> oh, Bibi, kiss the kids your braces on. Okay, uh, Rhett, what are you doing tonight? You're just gonna hang out with Dad? Dad said you and, Rhett, you and Perry are gonna make peanut blossoms tonight. Lucky. All right, you guys, something just hit this little guy tonight, and he's literally freaking out. Tell him why you're freaking out, Rhett. I don't want to throw up. He's almost throw up. He was literally, you guys, I had a fear of it. I really did have a fear of it until, yeah, I'm not as bad anymore, Cor. No, I've gotten over my fear. No, no joke. I had a fear of throwing up, Corey. Jay, listen. Hey, listen, everybody, everybody, listen. No, I know. She says, She's not having a fear of throwing up. Okay, so let, let's just ask this. When was the last time you threw up? I threw up in sixth grade. Okay, no, no, think about that for a sec. She threw up in sixth no, grade. No, fifth, fifth grade. Fifth grade was the last time she ever well, threw up. Well, I threw up when I was no, pregnant. You, you think that about was it. different, though. Yeah, that was different, exactly. Yeah, so the last stomach time, flu, fifth grade. Okay, so the last time you ever threw up was in fifth grade. Uh huh. Yeah. What does that tell you? That I'm due any time now. How many years has it been? I'm due. Why would you be due now? Well, I'm just saying it because Okay, I... so she is so mentally caught up in throwing up. She hates it so bad that her body will not throw up no matter what. It's true. It's been since fifth grade since there she There have been times up. I've been, she I've will gotten stomach not flu throw up. and I, I will fight it. And mentally her head will, will not allow her body to throw up. I will fight it. I will fight it, fight it, fight it. So if he's throwing up in the bathroom, I can hear him. I'm like, I like mentally tell myself, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sick. I'm yeah. going to get sick. So you're saying you're over it. Well, I am. I'm no. I How are you yeah, over it when you haven't, you haven't thrown that up was since like fifth grade? Ago. No, the fear of it. Like, I don't worry as much about getting well, sick. Well, I wouldn't either if I haven't thrown up since fifth grade. Well, I don't know because I would always okay, worry this, about it. If you guys ever see her get to the point where she's about to throw up, like, She'll I start, do cry. She'll start gagging. She'll start freaking out. I start crying. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I like this and I panic. Cause I get hot flashes and like the I taste the saliva in my throat. This girl thing. <laughs> I, I guess it makes you feel better. And like I like you know because you can taste the saliva. And you keep trying to like <laughs> answer me though. Is she over it? No, I am though because I don't have that no, fear anymore. Okay, is she over it, guys? I can handle. I can handle is being around over, it. Is she over it? Yes, I'm. I'm over the fear. Or you can be around it just because of the kids, but you still fear it. I think I still like don't like being you sick. But I feel like I'm not right as to, nervous it's about right it. To admit. That's <laughs> Corey. I'm serious. That's, it's been like that's the first answer to no getting over to the your point where is, is I accepting, used to like accepting that you have a problem. That's, <laughs> that's the first step. Whatever. Good job. He is exactly like I was at his age because I remember just crying and crying like you know that feeling when you know you're sick and you're just like I don't want to throw up like you're just constantly telling yourself that and then like you're like you cry that's kind of what Rhett's been doing like he's been laying over here and he's like I don't want you I don't want and of course I turn the camera on he's just he's not he's not even talking now but he's got a fear of throwing up and I I totally had that to the point where like just being around someone, hearing somebody, even if it was just a neighbor down the street that had the flu, I would be like, oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And now I don't do that anymore. That's what I'm trying to say, is I don't do that anymore. You guys can overcome your fear, that's what I'm trying to tell you, because I know a lot of my um, subscribers and you know viewers, they all have that fear of like, oh my gosh, I don't like being sick, I, was, I have a fear of throwing up, and I'm letting you know that I overcame it. It took many years, many, many years, but as in the last, probably last, I think probably within the last two years is when I kind of got over it. And I just had to realize, you know what, I might get sick. And it's okay. Corey would always tell me, it's awesome if you get sick. You get a day off, you get to lay in bed and like, and like, 
and you get to have somebody come rub your feet. Yeah, like have somebody take care of you and take, yeah. You like a princess. Totally. We'll have to let our viewers know tomorrow how you're how you're doing, but he's been laying on his stomach and he drank some water and as soon as he put his cup down, he's all oh he starts crying and he's panicking. Out of all my kids, I'm not gonna lie, Rhett's the biggest, the one that's just like me to a T. Like, he reminds me so much of myself because I was just like that at his age. Oh, here he is doing more work. <laughs> we were gonna make cookies, but I don't know if, if we're up to making cookies now that if, if one's not feeling very well. I think I'm gonna end the vlog for now. And if I come back with something more magnificent and exciting, I'll vlog that too.